This week in Nerf, we've got not one, but two new strifes and some codes to help you find the new blaster you're looking for during this Nerf hunting season. I'm Jangular, and every Saturday, this is your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. Jumping right on in, like I said, there's not one, but two new strife variants to be on the lookout for. This was shared by Gavin Fuzzy and originally from the Facebook Taiwanese Nerf group Alpha Nerfior. I hope I'm saying that right my apologies if not, but this was posted in those groups. First off, we have the Battle Camo Strife. This is obviously a Battle Camo variant for the most popular blaster around currently, which would be the Strife. It is, at least in the modern community, quintessential. It is iconic. It is something we see just about everybody build at least one of at some point. So getting a battle camo variant is absolutely welcome and I think an awesome addition to the line of strifes that we've had in the past and are continuing to get here in the future. Now this is going to be a Walmart exclusive as would be expected for something like this uh, and it's going to retail for $40 US. We know this because it is already appearing on BrickSeek. I will have a link, uh, link down below for those of you that want to see if they are going to arrive in your area or have them installed etc etc now $40 is definitely steep for a strife they've packed this full of accessories and uh, we're gonna hope that they will have deco on both sides because it is battle camo now I'm sure a lot of us will pick these up because they are interesting looking and unique but I think it's definitely going to be a bummer if we start to see the phase out of the $20 strife and we only get the $40 strife available so Fingers crossed the modulus version continues to stay available on Amazon or other retailers like that, but we're going to have to wait and find out. I, I think the modulus version will continue to be available because it clearly sells well on Amazon and they sell out so often that it doesn't make sense for them to not keep printing money essentially by continuing to print those shells. Amazon I'm sure is enjoying that and wants to continue to sell them because they are so popular and sell out so quick. So that's my my quick thought on that there, but that's not the only strife to talk about. Way back earlier in the year we talked about some leaks that people weren't certain about whether they were real or not and one of those leaks was the Strife CQ10. That is the other image that was shared in that Facebook group. And here is an image of it in real life shared by that same nerfer. And this, well, this is interesting because it looks like we may be getting two different variants of the CQ-10 or of the Strife in a relatively short time frame. The fact that this exists means that it's very likely it will see some form of production. Now, it's also entirely possible that they originally thought maybe we'll go with the CQ-10, this, this basic design, and then they decided to alter that to uh, the battle camo instead. That is a possibility because I still have not seen this listed anywhere for sale, like BrickSeek, so it doesn't have any codes or anything like that that I'm aware of, but I would be okay with having multiple strife variants on the market at the same time. Uh, the the CQ-10 is definitely a little bare bones or minimal, uh, but it is still neat looking. It's, it's nice, it's plain for people that don't want something bright and over the top like the battle camo, you could have the CQ-10. Now it does come with all the same attachments that the battle camo does, which is kind of what made me have that thought that maybe one evolved into the other but at least they made some form of production version, model, prototype, what have you, to see what it would look like. And that does exist in the physical, real world, and it is in this person's hands, which makes me think that more of one of these was made, and hopefully we'll see them on shelves at some point here. We don't have any sort of pricing that I'm aware of on this, so we'll, uh, we'll cross our fingers for that one. But what's interesting to talk about beyond that is the fact that We've now seen multiple images of the real life blasters from these leaks. We've seen the battle camo rough cut as well. So are the rest of these real? Is that, is that what this is going towards? There was a lot of skepticism towards these leaks months ago, but we're seeing things leak out bit, bit by bit and these blasters become reality. So I'm, I'm getting more and more hopeful for some of the other ones. So let me know what you think down below because that is definitely something very, very interesting. But let's go ahead and move on from our main story and let's talk about another reskin. 
Uh, this is a Camo Apollo, another Walmart exclusive. I'm not going to call it Battle Camo because it's clearly not Battle Camo, but it is a Camo print on an Apollo, and this was shared on Reddit by BuilderBB, and I am just kind of surprised, I guess. The Apollo is just so overshadowed by so many other blasters, but Hasbro seems to go all in on this blaster with all of the various repaints it's getting. It's very interesting. Maybe it's just very affordable to produce and they've been able to do so and that's a reason they are doing it. I don't know. I'm a little bit surprised with this one, but regardless, that is something interesting to me. Uh, it was worth sharing and letting you all know I don't have a price for anything yet, but that is something to keep your eye out on. Now, something else real quick that uh, you want to keep your eye out for is in the uh, Texas Nerf League or Rival League uh, Facebook page, one of their members got their hands on the Star Wars Rival Blaster that is uh, upcoming to be released at some point. So take a look at that. I will have a link down below for that. Definitely cool that this blaster is out or is, is being made because aesthetically cool rival blasters are kind of awesome. And the fact that we're getting a Star Wars one is definitely awesome. So definitely go check that one out. It's very cool. The link for that will be down below, of course, as well. One other thing to talk about today real quick, and that is... The Prometheus and Hades. Their DPCI numbers have been found and have been posted by Red Hog on Reddit. I will have the link, of course, as with everything else down below for those. If you want to find them, if those are the blasters you're looking for, definitely, definitely go hit those up because blasters should start showing up soon. I believe middle of July is when things are supposed to hit. So this next week, things may start appearing on shelves. So get ready to get out there and find some new stuff. Thank you for those of you that have been hunting for those DPCIs and posting them and sharing with everybody else. Uh, those res resources are great for all of us to have. But let's go ahead and move on to the mod of the week. This comes to us from Carlos Cubas. This is the Chrono Hawk. This thing is is super cool. It is super creative. They have taken an Alpha Hawk back and a Kronos, put them together, and it looks really cool. And that wasn't enough. They went ahead and took essentially something similar to a Caliber in front end and popped that on the front to make it a pump action blaster. Oh, and they made it take Katana mags. So it shoots short darts instead of rival rounds now. This thing is an absolute monster and super cool looking. I love the idea of putting the Alpha Hawk on the back of the Kronos. It's just, it's super creative, cool looking, integrating the Calibern parts, a great use of open source uh, ideas and files. And it's just, this is the kind of stuff I love to see. Just that, I wonder if this will work. Let's put it together. Not only does it work, but it looks cool. This is awesome. I want to see this in a game. I kind of want to use it in a game because it looks awesome. So definitely, definitely an awesome piece of work. Go check that out. The links to not only their posts, but the group they post things in will be down below. That leaves us with the video of the week. And as I said a few weeks ago, it's going to be end war related. We're still in the post end war hype here and all the videos are trickling out. This one, unsurprising to I'm sure many of you as we featured him last year for his end war work is TK1138. This is his end war 2018 final stand video, which is awesome. Plain and simple, getting to see things from a perspective that I did not on the field. I've posted mine, but I wasn't with the main force. I wasn't doing the main mission of the final stand. TK was. Throughout the entire event, he was. So I'm always looking forward to his videos and everyone else's videos that participated in missions for End War, but this one in particular is just sweet because you get to see the main force kind of slog their way through all the zombies from various different perspectives and angles, drone cam footage, footage from Monkey Tron thrown in there, TK's own head cam footage, um, analysis over the top from TK after the fact. And it's just, it's a great watch. If you wanna know what it was like to be in there, in the middle of it, in the thick of it, with the, the mass of humans, definitely go check this video out. Uh, we're gonna put this right over here as we get to the end of the video, but first, 
Just want to say thank you to the patrons as always. For those of you that are interested in supporting the channel going above and beyond, you can do so by clicking right up here, I want to say. And uh, you get to find out what's going on behind the scenes of the channel. I post up there two or three times a week. So thank you so much to all of you that make this possible. Uh, but beyond that, those of you that share things, that enlighten me to things that I may have missed, blasters I have, may have missed, news I may have missed, thank you. You make this even more possible, and I appreciate every single one of you. So share your thoughts and ideas for videos of the week, mods of the week, news that I may have missed, all of that down below. I appreciate every single one of you. So if you want to check out TK's video, definitely go do so here, and the rest of the links are down below. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.